do you think you are? Who the fuck do you think you are? Was the question posed to me. Asked in your furtive glances when I dared to speak up. Asked after making love when we were supposed to be fucking and after fucking when we were supposed to be making forever. It was asked when you were relentless in your anger, dead silent in your disappointment, furious in your self-hatred, never really wanting an answer, never cared what the answer was. It was asked to throw me into a contemplative silence and it worked. I was scared to answer. Scared I wouldn't have an answer. Who the fuck do you think you are? Screamed in my face as your punches landed on my skin like a whip on a slave's back. Whispered between your sorrowful makeup cries of an abused child who became a gnarled man. Well, I want to answer. As a matter of fact, I am happy to answer your question. I am me. Now hold on, because when I say that, you get confused. It's understandable, because when you tell someone who doesn't really know you the answer to the question is me, they don't think of me. They think of the me they have created, only that's not the me I'm talking about. I'm talking about the me you don't see, the me you take for granted, the me that doesn't even know it's me until I say, oh, yeah. That's me and all my motherfucking glory and all my fuck upness and all the ways I have yet to understand. Bitch, yeah, that's me. Selfish, that's me too. Angry, bitter, loving, warm, tender, brilliant, all me. So damn me that I don't know who me is because I got so many me's wrapped up in me. But I figured this shit out. And I want the clock to go back. I wanted to take you and me all the way back to the very first time you asked me that question, to the very first time you were so fucking confused by my me that it wasn't really a question. It was a condemnation, an accusation, a way of putting me in my place. So go for it. Ask me. Who the fuck do you think you are, Kalindra? Well, motherfucker, I'm glad you asked. Like Yahweh, God, formed from the word Haya, I am. I am the Alpha and Omega. I am strong. I am weak. I am kind. And I am filled with the kind of love that you will never take away. I am sick of your shit. So I'm going to stop this date from ever becoming a relationship. So you will never lay your hands on me and curse me and abuse me because you don't know who the fuck you are. I I'm going to allow this back to the future moment to be so that I will never lose sight of the very simple but true fact that I am me. That's who the fuck I am. When I realized why I thought I was writing poetry and why I wasn't really living was the same, Things change, and I didn't need to get the approval I'd been seeking. I'd fooled myself into thinking I was expressing my problems in my poems. I was lying. I hadn't even told myself the problems. I took his abuse, but I accepted my own toward myself, and I didn't need to. No one needs to. If where you are in life doesn't feel right in your heart, and if what's in your heart doesn't feel right in your life, you have to make yourself heard after you hear yourself. That wasn't taught to me. The women in my life never spoke the things that were in their hearts. Maybe they never spoke it because they were scared, not of their husbands, but where their lives would be if they were alone if they decided not to bear the burden women are expected to willingly bear. Sometimes we focus too much on how we'll be seen and judged. And if we don't have people in our lives who won't harm us because of the hate they have for themselves, then life is pretty. 
pretty miserable. And who wants to lead a miserable life? So I told myself, before you write another word, find out who you are. So this sort of thing never happens again. I think that if you are to be very true to yourself and listen, really listen to the things you never say, you won't have to be in this room or in a prison cell, or in the jail of your own fears, writing when the truth is waiting on you to just speak it. But you have to listen. You have to be quiet and listen. Not to the garbage everybody puts into your soul, the things you fight every day just to make yourself feel worthy of walking this earth. You have to listen to your spirit. Listen to your soul.